Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing an astrology tarot reading for Chao Yo Bing. So we will see who her husband is. We're actually going to do a Mr. Chao Yo Bing, okay? So I know we don't know his last name and he usually goes by their, uh, the, the man's last name. But we are going to see who her potential husband, and this will be his reading, okay, for Chao Bean. Let's see. What is Mr. Chao Bean's sun sign here for her future husband? Let's see. Well, whoever he is, he is in the flow. And on the bottom of the deck, we have taking a risk. So definitely in the flow and about to take a risk here. This is exciting. I really like this. And this is how he sees himself. So let's get one card for him out of the tarot because I found this was going to give me a little more than what I was looking for. Wow. The emperor. He's coming up as the emperor. <laughs> He's in the flow and he's taking risk. This is um, Aries passion energy here for the emperor. This is about stability, power, wealth, a leader. Wow. <laughs> wow, he's really showing up here for her as somebody that is going to be her counterpart. This is beautiful. That's what I'm feeling here. What do we have for the moon? The emotions here. This one card and I'll pull one out. We have a fiery climax approaches. Woohoo! Full moon in Aries. Wow, that's that Hierophant or that uh, Emperor. Sorry, <laughs> the Emperor. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, the Emperor's... Um, uh, what do you want? Energy. <laughs> Jeez, I'm having a hard time speaking. Let's see. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Okay, so this has to do with a purpose here. Feeling these emotions that he's good enough. He's very good with self. So that's very exciting. I feel like he may even know that there's something coming here. Let's look at the rising sign for him. How others view him. Oh, we got one. All right. The star daughters dance. I dance, sing, and play with my sisters at sunset. Okay. So he may have siblings, um, sisters. He may have a daughter or will have a daughter with her. And wow, this is beautiful. We have number five. This is a change that's coming. What do we have on the bottom of the deck here? We have the winged messenger creation. Didn't I say a daughter? Um, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. And we have flow here. Wow. <laughs> Let's get those tarot cards as well. One for the moon sign, please. Wow. For emotions. Ah, look at this. Okay, we have... The death card and we have the prince of cups okay or not the prince the page of cups so this is about happy news kindness emotional insight this is and then with the death card this is scorpio secrets endings um with endings become new beginnings and a change a rebirth or a transformation here so he's maybe done some work on self here. This is beautiful. This is uh, major arcana's all coming up here. Well, two anyway, out of two. Beautiful, let's see. What about how other people see him in his rising? What about his rising here? Oh, we got one. What? <laughs> wow. 10 of pentacles, what? So, this is how people see him. He He's really showing up as the emperor here in the flow. And then we have the winged messenger and the star daughters. So it may end up having a couple daughters here with 
Um, Sha you you being yo being Sha you being. Wow, ten of pentacles. So he may have his own money. Let's look at luck here. <laughs> it's Jupiter. What is Mr. Chayu Beans? Wow, Angel of Balance and Contract. So this may be a contract. This is something that's written already, okay? Wow, we have number 11, which is a master number, and we have six, okay? And six is... um restoring something uh, having cooperation and trying to get harmony together here that balance which is beautiful so what about the luck here for mr chayu bean what do we have here for mr chayu bean um investments and that may be where this money comes from investing in something so well, that's number seven and that's um Kind of reflecting assessing and uh certain knowledge about things and being even spiritual here so wow that's beautiful what's on the bottom of the deck happy family <laughs> wow that's so crazy wow with number four that's that stability coming back in here beautiful and that's for the luck that's coming in wow that's so awesome. What happened to the cards for here? That's that one. No, that wasn't the right one. Where's the one I had there? I thought there was more than one here. Yeah, a fiery climax. Here it is. I found it. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Let's look at relationships here. The palace for Mr. Chayubin, please. one out we have express your love so he's definitely going to express his love towards um chayu being here go ahead and make the romantic gesture and i feel like he's definitely gonna do that oh wow free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so wow that's beautiful so he's taking charge of what he wants here and he is in love with her wow let's get a tarot card in with this so oh, that one wants to come wow healing so this could be one of them is healing through something here uh, perhaps an ending this could be um a breakup of some sort or just going through the dark night of the soul right so what are they healing here I want to know <laughs> wow Queen of Cups so this could have been somebody they were emotionally connected with and that loving and sensitive tender-heartedness so could be healing that part of themselves here Mr. Chai um, Chao Bean could be healing um, the feminine side of himself, right? Because we all have a masculine and a feminine side. So and let's let's see what we have for the fortune and wealth here. Whoa! <laughs> wow, these cards really want to talk. Okay. Wow. We have separation, self-indulgence, and ascending. Wow. So there may have been some type of separation here between these two. Perhaps they know one another. And lightning. Wow. This is like a sudden change, a shock, a surprise. <laughs> so these maybe had to heal something from another relationship it could have been they were together from the past and they have to heal something within their own relationship but in any case it looks like there's ascension here and then some type of surprise so some type of unexpected change that comes in here let's get a tarot card to come in for this 
What are we talking about here? What's gonna happen? Wow, somebody has sleepless nights, keeps thinking about her. So he may be really having a hard time with this dark night of the soul or just healing whatever this was from this separation from whoever this is. This other person was self-indulgent, so I see here. So there's self-worth here, focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal. So that shadow work, here it is right there. So that sudden change, he separated from whoever he needed to separate from, focused on himself and his self-worth, and is ascending. And that's right here as well in the relationship. Free yourself, express your love towards himself, it looks like. And it looks like he's healing the feminine side, the love and nurturing side of himself that may have been hurt from this relationship he may have been in. He definitely is having nightmares or a hard time sleeping. He's ascending, and that happens when you ascend, right? So let's look at the Juno here. What are the influences here for Mr. Chao Yobin? What are the influences? This one wanted to come out. Mm, truth be told. Okay. So that's number five. That is a change. So there's something that's going to be said here. Let's see. A chance in the wind. So and that's number three. That could have something to do with a group of people, some growth that happens here, and could be something creative as well. So any other messages? Okay, influencing. Never ending story. And that, I feel like that was that separation. So realizing where these karmic ties are speaking some type of truth to change this never-ending story it looks like we have ah a loyal heart so he's very loyal to whoever he loves and it's got these two lovebirds on there two owls and whoever he is he's very loyal very loyal to whoever he loves, I feel. A loyal heart. So he's really trying to better himself here and change a few things. Let's get a tarot card with this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is to be happier and to go towards his true heart desire, it looks like. These are two major arcanas again with the sun card and the devil card. She may be a Capricorn, Virgo, um, or Libra. I'm feeling real a lot of Earth, even though the Devil card is a Capricorn. That is about ambition. And then the Sun card is um, about self. So this is all about their his own abundance, whatever makes him happy with the Sun card, um, especially when it comes to all areas of the life, uh, of his life. So sex and joy and success and, and love, right? So, wow, this is so beautiful. Let's look at his mid heaven here. What is his mid heaven? Oh, he might be a teacher. He might have something to do with uh, the body work. Um, Massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training here. He is a teacher of some sort here. And we have creative expression. So maybe how to have an outlet um, of form. I feel like, like almost like a form of meditation, except for through artwork or something like that, or body art. Something to do with teaching, though, and that therapy. I'm getting therapy there. What's on the bottom of the deck? Children. So it might be children therapy. Children, um, maybe he's a psychologist or um, psycho uh, psychiatrist. But there's some type of teaching, some type of creative expression when it comes to children. 
So like artwork to have an outlet instead of sitting and trying to have a child sit to meditate, um, maybe having a creative expression through art that is sort of like that meditating um, feeling where it's some type of therapy, art therapy or something along those lines for children. That's beautiful. Let's get one more card through tarot. Woo. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. So this has to do with um, five of swords. So, wow, this is pretty much saying about um, maybe some behavioral issues when it comes to things for children, like hostility towards family members or trying to win at all costs or arguments and conflict. It has to do with that having those empty victories of maybe throwing people under the bus or you know what I mean like that therapeutic type of behavioral teachings or uh, psychologists psychiatrist kind of I'm, I'm really getting it has to do with behavioral and it has to do with children so it maybe has that expression through art to help children deal with Maybe bad things that happen to them, some hostility they feel, maybe they feel wronged or some type of anger outlet or something along those lines. Doing really good work though. Very effective. Wow. <laughs> and this is what their ancestors want to tell them. And they really want to say something to Mr. Uh, Chao Yo Bean because these cards are just flipping right out. Oh wow. So it is about love and compassion and this may come towards these children a lot but perhaps not so much towards himself with that self-love I'm feeling. Yeah having the strength here to love self. Oh Okay, the shaman here, ancient healing wisdom and vision quest with the desert. So, wow, de very um, gifted individual. Um, this is what's coming up for him from his ancestors that there is some, he's really doing his life purpose, it looks like, and it has to do with helping children heal here. That shaman energy, that ancient healing wisdom to help children it looks like there's a vision here that he's followed to get into his purpose it looks like wow this is so beautiful for him and her i mean she's gonna be yeah look at that he is single he has my single card here the nine of pentacles he's very self-sufficient he's content in what he's doing but i feel like in the sense of love Right now, it looks like he's in a separation with somebody. Whether he's married to them or not, he's going through that self-love for himself and finding himself again. Sometimes people lose who they are when they're in a relationship. They kind of change over time and they forget who they are, right? He's single and available for her. So, But he is doing the healing work, so it might not come about just yet let's look at this is what is this we did oh, oh that's what i did <laughs> that's why because i did fortune with these cards here and this should have been his love his venus and I'm going to keep it as love and Venus because it's talking about self, uh, self love and separation from someone, um, something that changes all of a sudden and some ascending. And we are going to do his fortune and wealth here with these cards, fortune and wealth here, motivation. So definitely getting motivated for something here. To be true to you. Wow, that is that self-love and not listening to anyone else about what is good for his life. He's figuring that through his own self. Wow, we got a couple messages here. We have religion and spirituality. So he might have be struggling with that a little bit. Um, 
when it comes to religion versus spirituality maybe he's grown up a certain type of way there's some dietary changes that need to be had so he can connect to his roots his shaman um that ancient w wisdom and stuff and i feel like the more he eats in a better uh, way, the more he connects with spirit here and gets more into the flow, gets that, um, he, he is on his quest, he is on his purpose. And with the strength card, he does have the compassion and the courage to do this. Spiritual growth, look at that. <laughs> so I'm kind of feeling like, it may have been a struggle to conform from religion to spirituality or the difference between the two or how to be with that and be okay with it. Self-employment. So he may have started his own business here doing this work all on his own. And it may not have anything to do with anyone else. This is something he's chosen to do for himself. Let's look here at one more card. <laughs> so with the five of wands, okay, so this, this is, I kind of feel like there were so many choices. It was kind of a complex struggle to figure out about his um, spirituality versus religion, I'm feeling on this. Uh, to be true to himself about what he truly wanted to believe in being motivated to maybe be more spiritual than religious and I kind of feel like that that was a struggle for him but the self-employment was when I really feel this came out for him and that's winning at all costs when it comes to his self-employment really not giving up on himself and I feel like that that would be an um uh, lying to yourself is one of the biggest things you can do to yourself where it's because you know you're lying to yourself do you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> you're not fooling yourself when you lie to yourself because you know <laughs> so I feel like he's realizing a lot of things about life lessons here. What's his north node, his current life here? What's his current life here? This is so beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, in prison. So I kind of feel like that's what he was going through. That, um, that all of a sudden feeling here that separation he may have felt like he was behind lock and key like he couldn't do anything couldn't move with within this relationship yeah he was just going to work and it was a lot of work toil and labor there and number 11 so i feel like something happened here for him to get into his purpose this self-employment may have had something to do with the main female. It could have been this person he separated from, he freed himself from, because free yourself is there in the imprisonment. So I kind of feel like he felt stuck or that never ending story was never ending. Wow, he may have been married. So to this main female so I he's separated from this person I don't feel like it is um Chayu Bean I don't feel it was her I feel like this is whoever is he separated from yeah the community may know that he's married but whether she does it when she meets him or not there could be a divorce by then. But right now he's going through the dark night of the soul here. Let's see. Yeah, he's working on himself, I feel. And just working in general for himself with this self-employment. Working to get his life better, possibly before spirit brings him in to meet her. Aha, uh -huh, he's manifesting. Hello. <laughs> he's working on those manifests to bring her into fruition, I feel. 
Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, he walked away from somebody here with the Eight of Cups. So, wow, that's beautiful. And um, what do we have for Spirit's Advice here? What's Spirit's Advice for Mr. Cha Yubin? Prioritize. Yeah, I feel like he's putting himself first now. Archangel Metatron, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. We have motivated here as well. So spirit and spirit angels, ancestors and spirit guides, uh, they're all helping um, bring this together. Let's see, any other messages? Yes, wow, okay, we got a couple here. We'll take those. We have breathe. <laughs> so this may have been a bit of a shock here and I feel like whatever he ended here with the death card, I, I feel like he's not 100% sure he's doing the right thing, but I feel what this, this is, says here, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release the patterns. So this may have been like just settling. That's what I'm kind of getting is settling. Settling for somebody that he was comfortable with. Gifts from God. Wow, that's beautiful. Archangel Sandalfon. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Wow. Open your arms to receive. Wow. That's beautiful. And a victory. Wow. is definitely going to get a victory here. Archangel Sandalfoot again. Your purpose. Oh no. Your prayers. Sorry. Have been heard and answered. Have faith. So they are coming together for him. He's just got to have patience here that it, it is coming and believe. And then we have outdoors. Okay. So Angel Japhael, go outside, get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is beautiful. Whoever he is, he's, he's definitely in the flow taking the risk he wants to take in order to invest in things to be happy here. He's definitely going through the dark night of the soul and coming out of that, there's gifts here from his ancestors, all these messages from his ancestors, what he's working on, his wealth, what he's going to, uh, how people are influencing him and seeing what he needed to see to change some things here. Wow. And what he does for a living, uh, this new self-employment that he's got going on here with these children. Um, I really, I really like this for him. Now, even though this came up under luck, this still strikes me as this love, the Venus. And even though that's how that came up, I'm feeling like it meant it was meant to come up like that <laughs> i could do, redo this reading um but i'm not going to because it's such a beautiful reading and what's come up here even though i i can't recall if i said venus um this still feels like the romance end of it the love portion of it where he's separated done this the work on himself that self-worth and he's ascended from it and this was a big change before the separation and most people can't sleep when they go through an um, ascension and I, I really feel like this is really amazing like with the ten of pentacles here for the rising so he f coming from family wealth or money um he's going to gain a lot of money through his employment or whatever he's going to be doing or is doing now is going to really change things for him when it comes to how people view him he's got a loyal heart so that's 
that's beautiful and he's healing and that's so important so he's definitely freed himself from something in order to come forward he's ascending I kind of almost want to roll the dice to see when this might come forward for him let's see this one and this one when will this happen I'm kind of getting five a lot of fives changing five wow five came up wow I can't make this shit out I don't know if you can see that but it is a five um yeah I don't know if you can see it but that is a five there wow I can't believe that came up like that and Aries that Aries passion came up that uh emperor energy so he may be an Aries here wow that's so amazing but I really like this for him whoever he is uh Mr. Cha Yubin whoever her husband is well soon will be <laughs> he's definitely separating to find himself so happy happy that's so beautiful i really love it so anyways uh please like share and subscribe give me that thumbs up if you like my vibe <laughs> all right you guys take care stay blessed and we'll see you guys next time all right later